morning. So tickled with this weather. So I'm Adrian from Eastern North Carolina and it is not 90 degrees today, which is awesome. Though my husband, who loves to be my naysayer, just said, well, it's gonna be 90 tomorrow. I mean, I've just gotten back from the coffee shop in my room, which my 13 year old daughter was like, looks like a dress. But anyway, I was in the coffee shop and I was thinking, you know, everybody in there has on clothes, but me. Like, why is that? It's because people are constantly thinking, what are other people gonna think? Amos, didn't I just start it over? Yes. <coughs> The train. Love the new robe. I know, I do too. And I've got a couple of them to give away today. Um, but I really did. I was like, you know, everybody, we live in this like world of things need to look right. You, you know, it's just um, exhausting. And I thought, you know, this is a good morning. It's kind of cool. My husband is doing a subscriber video with me at 11. Actually, we're doing a Q&A with my subscribers because my husband is a big, big hit with my peoples. And, um, but I thought, okay, Facebook is a little, Facebook is a little more accepting. But Instagram, I have like 38,000 followers on Instagram. And almost 300,000 on Facebook. And I was like, why is that? Well, you know what it is? Instagram is less real than Facebook. Not that Facebook particularly loves real, but isn't that interesting? So on Instagram, if you have babies, you're thin and you look good and you kind of put up these contrived pictures, people love to watch you. <clears throat> but when you talk about um big deals like book bans or public education or politics, um, ee, people are like, I'm getting the hell out of here. And I don't know why that is. Um, I can see, I think social media is a total, like, <laughs> lazy enjoyment for some people, where for me it's work, so maybe it's, um, maybe I tend to tackle bigger topics on there, you know? What? Hi. Hi. Teenage girl missing in Mebbit. Oh, Courtney, we sure will. I'll look that up. Now what's the problem? This is why my brain is fried. Now what? This? This one. Not this one. This one. This. That one? No. This one. That one. Not bone train. Well, didn't we just watch this one? Yes. Oh my gosh. Um, but that's just aside. But you know, there is a real, the world is a, when are you and Big T on? We're gonna be on at 11. Instagram is meant for short snapshots. Well, maybe that's it. But damn it, I want all the people that follow me on Facebook to come over to my Instagram. I'm gonna put a link up. I mean, animal rescues. All I see on Instagram are people with, I'm putting my Instagram post up there. I just want like 50,000 followers. And then I become the person that cares too much. No. So I was thinking today like, oh boy. Well, a lot of things. But when you, um, and granted, if there's no reason for people to go to the coffee shop in their robe. It's just, it's unacceptable. But why is it unacceptable? I had people years ago, so when I started this blog, this is um, sort of the backstory of when you're like, what the hell is she talking about? People are probably already gone now. But, oh, thank you, Suzette. Um, I've been moving furniture around in my house, which is my favorite activity. It was, it's been almost seven years. Seven years ago, I started this blog. And at the time, I will tell you, I had never read a blog. I had a two-year-old who I was really drowning in fear, and I thought, you know, I've got to write something. 
You just finished the 5K and my daughter didn't go to it. What? Oh, God. See, real world, people don't have like these little videos set up in a nice room that's quiet with like pumpkin spice wafting everywhere. They have little people with autism who boss them with the television. Okay, now what? What do you mean not this one? What do you want to watch? Not this one. Okay, what one? Like this way. I don't think that's what you want to watch. Things that can kill your bird. How about ABC Teletubbies? Birds. What? ABC birds. Okay. Okay. Uh... Well, you need to sit down. You're in my way. <laughs> Headed to... Hello from Raleigh. Headed to Little Washington. Oh, I love Little Washington. That's a nice place to go. People are in PJs at Walmart. Well, no, that's true, and I do sort of judge them. ABC birds. Yay, you followed me on Instagram. What was I saying? No, I can't. Oh, oh, but when I started this thing... And somebody was like, well, how'd you get the name? And I was like, you know, I need to explain that. Because it does sound a little bit, you know, me. It's tongue-in-cheek, right? So I am a, a legitimate debutante. Okay, which, okay. Now, which one? This one. The first one. Yeah. Thank the good Lord. Um, I, oh, I got, <laughs> I got his pajamas, TJ Mac. Help you skip the ad. What's I'm willing to give so cool. anyone a free vacation if they could teach Amos how to use this Apple remote. What? FF. -F. What's FF? -F? What's the color? You reading about snakes with your snake? Yes. African clay parrots. Amos has been reading lately about piranhas, and so we went down to the water out here. And I was like, let's get in the water. It was warm. He was like, no, the par parahanas are going to get me. Nothing like having him to make you just be honest. I wish you two would do another interview on your main page. We did one a couple weeks ago. So I have my subscriber page, which is really kind of my, how I earn an income from Facebook. So he's doing a, most people are, I think my husband's probably a little more comfortable on the subscriber page because it's. 3,000 people versus 300,000. Um, but anyway, I mean, the subscriber page is $5 a month. $5. I know $5 is a lot for people. I get it. I really do. But I mean, it's for a cup of coffee. If you go to Wendy's and get the Baconator, it's like $7.49. One Baconator. Now, I realize some people don't go to Wendy's, but most people can buy a Baconator. Hello from Wibley Island, Washington. Talk about real life. Oh, well, Renee, you would be perfect for my subscriber thing. Okay, so I started writing this blog, and I called it The Educated Debutante. I have a PhD in educational research from NC State. My master's is from Carolina, undergrad Meredith College, high school Salem Academy. And I was, in fact, a debutante. And... um my parents grew up in Ohio, and they moved to North Carolina before I was born. And so I was born and raised there. My dad had a, a business. He was an optometrist and did a lot for the community. Um, my parents are good, nice people, not born and bred Southerners. So when I grew up, I didn't know everybody's cousin. Or when I went to college, I did, there weren't people that were my parents' kids. And when you live in North Carolina or maybe the South and you're not from there, I think you're always, you're always not, you're not a hundred percent included. It's a weird thing. And I will say that myself as the, the child of Northerners, there's even a part of me that I think people are like, our family's not from here. Right? Such a, and so there's always been this thing in me of wanting to be inclusive and wanting to make people feel not alone and included. 
Um, so the educated debutante sounds exclusive, but it's not. Um, yes, so I have two of these robes, and anybody that goes and follows me today on Instagram, and you need to go tag three of your friends, I'm going to mail these robes out there from the Oyster Bell um, in Moorhead City. And total disclaimer, they're 75% off, so they were like $150, so they're a little less expensive for me, but I really like them. Anyway, so there you go. Um, so I started this blog, and for the most part, it's been good, but there are people that avoid me like the plague. I think they're kind of like, maybe if she's telling all her secrets, she's going to start trying to tell mine. Maybe she knows what the truth is. Maybe she, she's too much. She puts pictures in her underpants. I don't really do that much anymore because now I have a lot of teenagers or teenage sons on social media, and I don't want to embarrass them. Because that matters. And, um, but it's important to me. Um, it's important to me. And I think during COVID, people were like sitting around feeling lonely. And there are people that are lonely in the world. You sound like you're from the North. So like Bonnie, that's a comment somebody would say. So that comment in itself is, I'm not saying this to you, but it's not kind. So my mother always said, if what you say doesn't make somebody feel good, then don't say it. So you might want to say instead, boy, you don't even have a Southern accent, really. You know, like that's a nicer way to say that. You sound like you're from the North or where are you from originally? Like that's, it's just important not to talk like that to people, um, I think. And I don't even know if my parents have ever felt excluded, honestly, but I notice and I get it, right? Because now my friends' children were getting ready to like go to college and go to the beach. And I'm like, holy cow, everybody, hold on, I'm gonna put up the subscriber link. Hang on just a minute, let me go get it. Ha ha, it's back. Um, subscribe. But you just don't want people to feel excluded, especially today. And when you think about how we have um, mental health issues and suicide rates. You know, it's, people need, you what? You need hungry? No, Bonnie, I'm, I don't think you meant any harm, but just think about, ask your parents if they ever felt that way next time you talk to them. You know, my parents have done a subscriber video with me. My mother's more willing than my father, but they do it. But um, I would rather be from the North. I'm not just a fan of the South. But now on the other hand, the other night, I had um, my father-in-law on. Well, if there's anybody Southern, it's my father-in-law. And he was given this history of his family. Did you catch a live? You did, Lillian. He was given history... Um, that was my father-in-law, Donna, not my dad. So you see in two real differences, it, dichotomy there. And people were like, not everybody, but there were a couple of people that were like, he sounds like a slave owner. So then now you're being accused of being too Southern. I was like, well, the, he's not a slave owner. He's 85. So... He sort of missed that error. You know, I mean, it's like, and that that goes into the point. This is just a good lecture for everybody this morning. What is the status of your father-in-law's chair? So the other night, there was a man sitting in this chair. Now, my in-laws love antiques. Adrian does not really love antiques. My idea of an antique. Daddy, I'm hungry. You're hungry. What would you like? Uh, I have blueberry waffles. My idea of an antique. Well, you just had a donut. Or like these chairs. Eight for, eight for $225 from Second Blessings in Moorhead City. Or this light fixture, which doesn't it look good, is from the Habitat store, where I should be this morning because I'm trying to get a dresser. 
$40, right? I know. I had to pay 200 to get it cleaned up, but still, doesn't it look good? So anyway, my idea of an antique is kind of like thrift shops, let's be honest. But somebody sat in the chair and the chair just kaput. And the guy was like, I'm so sorry, this chair. I was like, mm, ain't nobody allowed to sit in those chairs. No one ever see me sitting in any chairs around here. <laughs> okay, here we go. I got some homemade waffles. Waffle? I don't know if I'd stand on the dog food. What are you looking for? Yay, Bonnie. Susan Overman. I don't think so. I don't know how to tag on Instagram. You do the app sign and then you tag people. I follow you on Facebook. Where do I go to subscribe? Sandy, I just put up the link. Let me see if I can do it. I'm talking. And do it from your computer, not your phone, because Apple Pay takes 30%, which is insane. Do you want a honey bun? Well, they're in here. You want one or do you want waffles? What's, you want to start with waffles? Okay, I'll start with waffles. I grew up in the north, north and in Minnesota. I moved to the south in 75. Oh, this year I was born in Georgia. And then... Alabama, call me a Southern Yankee, hate extreme cold and snow. <laughs> that sounds like my parents. Um, yes, we have, so we had a, I had a big subscriber weekend here last year. He's shopping at the pantry now, we have four waffles. But we have a subscriber cruise happening and it's actually gonna be, there's gonna be a few spaces left of rooms we reserved and I'm gonna open it up to a limited number of followers because again, it is kind of a fun, big deal in January. Love your little fern. My little fern, I'm not very good at keeping things alive. Mm -hmm. No, no I'm not, except um, I do try. I sent the video of your father-in-law at Mulberry Hill to my friend in Vietnam who is a history teacher. Oh, that's neat. Yeah, my father-in-law, where is the guy that used to be on with you? Paul. Paul has a new job. I don't have a computer. You can join, Marilyn. You can do it from your phone. You just, Apple gets like 30%. I try to subscribe on my Apple tablet. Well, try on your phone too. It's all right. I bought Fruit Loops the other day because I saw you eating a spoonful of them. I used the link, but it said something happened, yet it shows me now. Yay, Beverly. How are your kitchen counters clutter-free? Um, because my housekeeper was here yesterday. Let's just be honest about that, right? And she cleaned them off. My house um, is generally like, the clutter is, well, one, we moved into a bigger house, but then you come in places like this and you're like, oh, there's just crap. Just some kitty litter, but look. <laughs> kitty litter. <laughs> Trish is really worried about my counters. I hate things on kitchen counters. That's the other thing. What was that? 
I really do. Not hate, that sounds so strong, but I do not like things on counters. My mom and dad always have like their whole world on the counter and I'm like, ah, put this in the pantry. I'd rather have a big messy pantry. Um, we also have a, two garages here. One is a full on playroom and one is a hoarding cave. A hoarding cave. I want that road, Melinda said. Oh, well good, Melinda, I'm glad you came over there and followed me. Two robes, two robes for the taking. Just asked the people at the coffee shop this morning and they were like, looking at me like, I know that fool has on a robe, not real clothes, and we're used to it. Cruise info, please. We are going on the cruise, I think it's January 23rd through the 27th, Royal Caribbean. We've got a great rate, all sorts of fun things. Last year I had everybody come here, and this year, um, well, we're going to do a little thing in the spring, but we're just going to try a cruise out and see how we like it. It's kind of nice for me because I don't have to plan as much, and there's food, which is good. I have to have things like vitamins. Well, no, that's probably true. That's probably why I forget to take medicine. How's the condo coming? Um, my condo in Raleigh that was uh, trashed is, okay, is all cleared out. So that's exciting as of last night. Um, so now we'll wait for the contractor to come. We had a woman who was uh, hoarding. Okay. Waffles and honey bun. Yes, waffles and then a honey bun. You believe in sugar. Oh, you've moved the table. Waffles and honey bun. Do you need your spider thing here? No. No. You want me to put it over here? Kidopedia. Okay. Oh, you're in the way. Did you give out five hundred dollar gift cards for Hep C? Um, they were. We gave out five one hundred dollar gift cards for the Hep C campaign that I this did. One. This one. Yes. That one. And if you won one, you should have heard by now. I'll check with my person that hired me. But you should have already gotten them. We love to do some gift cards around this, this house. The condo is done. Yes, Marla. It's, where's my coffee? Oh, there it is. It's cleaned out. Can we see a pic of the condo cleaned out? Yes, I'll put them up after the video. I love the blue and white love seat and chairs. Martha's Vineyard. So these are kind of neat. Yeah, right, Christine? These chairs are from Lee Industries and they swivel. They're like beanbag chairs. And I just moved them up here yesterday because I'm giving my parents two other chairs. And they're this fabric is inside out fabric, which I love because you can um, get anything out of it. Mary Scott. Mary Scott is at Cape Lookout today. If you want to talk about a fun activity, go to Cape Lookout. I know, Mary Scott, look, I found a fascinator from Walgreens. Go to Cape Lookout and stay in one of the cabins. So if most of you, if you have not taken advantage of national park residencies, you should. Um, national parks all over the place have cabins and stuff where you can stay super cheap. And um, the National Park at Cape Lookout, it's like a cabin. It's maybe, it could be between $60 and $100 a night. And some of them have like 10 beds. And you, there's no electricity, but you have gas. You can take a shower or cook. And you're on the beach. Adrian, I want your thoughts on the topic of antiques history. I was given a G. Harvey print years ago that displays a Confederate flag. Just not comfortable. Well, Liz, I don't know. Marla, I won the first gift card campaign a few months ago for $500. Yes, you did, Marla. I remember that. Cabins are so fun. You know, I'm not a big, like, camper, but I like a cabin. I mean, it feels like kind of fake camping. 
And if you have small children and have some massive like rain thunderstorm that comes through, uh, we stayed one time and there was a bad storm and the darn tents like blew away. What happened to Paul? Paul is has a real job. He's no longer on social media. Show us your necklace. How about my, how about my neck? My necklace is from Alaska. My parents got it for me, and it's little gold nuggets hooked together. Note to self, get a fascinator at um, Walgreens. I know, I'm sort of enjoying this. I need to start wearing it every day. Mm. I tell you what. For anybody, yay, Linda. The more, somebody was telling me something last night. I went to this party. Hello, Swan. Yeah, so the Swan I got from the um, Chowan Arts Council, is he not a, literally, I went in there and I looked. He was $75. Billy Ray Turner from Seaford, Virginia, signed it, 2013. I was like, um, I'll take the swan. He spoke to me. What's Amos going to do today? Amos and Mommy are going to go on a bike ride on Amos's new bike. No. Yes. Happy. Not this one. Not this one. Not this one. Lori, go follow me on Instagram and tag three people, and I'll put you in the drawing to get you a road mailed. There aren't any more left because I bought them. I'm spending a weekend at a dude ranch. Well, that's kind of awful. Sad about Paul. Well, Paul is not six feet in the ground. I don't know if I would be sad. This one? Not this one. Not this one. <laughs> sad. I think you should wear it with your robe to get your coffee at the coffee shop. Now, not this one. Right I might be a little too vain to do that. I think that's a spider decoration for Halloween, said Glenda. What? Are you kidding? Help me. This one. That one. No Teletubbies. Amos is talking so much. No Teletubbies. No, you're done with Teletubbies. Okay. How's the Saxenda? I'm on week five and down seven pounds, struggling a bit with nausea. So I have been doing, um, taking, injecting myself with Saxenda since like March. Yay, Jill. And... Um, you're reminding me to take it this morning. It is a weight loss medicine. And lost ah, 35 pounds so far. But then when I went on a trip with my parents this summer, I gained back six. So I'm still... Wait, did I lose? I started at 186. Now I'm at 158. So no, just 30 pounds, not 35 pounds. Um... Can Paul join on his day off? Julie, Paul might join sometime, but never on the big page. It would be on the subscriber page. Like one day he popped in. So you ain't seeing Paul over her. But um, anyway, 30 pounds. So now I'm back to getting back to the 30 pounds. I have two more to go. So it's taken me, it's taken me six weeks to get the six pounds down again. Um, but it's great. The main thing is, does your insurance cover it? And if your insurance does not cover it, there are different coupons you can get. And we have a woman named Angela Thatcher. I'm going to give myself a little shot in my thigh. I'm just kidding. It doesn't hurt. And um, she has about 70 of my subscribers as clients. And... I think people are really losing weight and being excited. I've lost about 25 pounds, Kimberly said. Oh, that's awesome. And it's kind of the way to go, I think, because 
it basically does something with some hormone in your brain. I know enough to be dangerous, but you, um, so you just hit follow on your Instagram. Yes. You, it changes this hormone in your brain. So my whole life, my brain has told me you're starving. You're so hungry. You need to eat. You're about to die. Saxenda, but then I'm switching to Wagovi because Wagovi is a weekly shot. No, it doesn't hurt. It's like a teeny thine. It doesn't even hurt. Okay, well, you come get yourself some water. You can do that. Here's a cup. Oh, no, that's a dirty cup. When you went on a cruise with your parents, what cruise ship was it? It was the Regent cruise ship. Any advice for us landlords, Adrian? Now, Trish, that's just mean. I don't somebody hoarding in mind. Go in. My dad said you should have only done a three-month lease and kept check on it. This is sort of a... When you can smell a cookie through a bag... So these were made by um, Hannah Dietrich in Rocky Mount, who is like the cookie expert. And I'm not kidding you. You can totally smell a cookie through this plastic bag. Does it make you nauseated? It doesn't me, Tammy. I started Moonjaro last Saturday and lost seven pounds. You know, what? I, I thought this was kind of good. I've lost the weight. It's pretty slow, but I feel like it's in a way that I'll keep it off, you know? I've lost 150 pounds and have 125 more to go. Well, that's pretty awesome. Yay, Joanne. It's something to do with insulin. Yeah. So when I take this medicine, suddenly I'm like a thin person. I don't even, I don't think about food all the time. I'm not like, I need to go to McDonald's. Um, so anyway, that's that. How did you get your insurance to pay for it? We have really good insurance through the state, um, state board, North Carolina State Bar. So our, my insurance just covers it. I mean, we had to meet our deductible. We always meet that within like nine minutes. Um, so I didn't have to work hard to get it. I mean, I think either your insurance covers it or it doesn't. There's no like convincing them to, you know, it's kind of like <laughs> it's excluded or it's not. I've gained five pounds. Took me 18 months to lose 150. Taking you months to lose the five again. You know, it, the weight is a real problem. And people, particularly women, get so, you know, like, how did I get to 186 pounds? I remember when I was in, at grad school in Carolina, I went to the health center and got weighed. And I weighed 144. And I was like, you tag on Instagram, you do the at sign and then the name. You follow me and then you can tag people, tag other people. Or maybe I need to put a post up. I'll put a post up after this. I price sex in the 1300 a month. Yeah, I mean, that would be too expensive. But now I'm like 144 pounds? I mean, that I would look downright anorexic if I weighed 144 pounds. Because now I'm at 100, and, what was I this morning? And I do weigh every day, I didn't used to. And you shouldn't if you, like, have body image problems. I have body image problems. My friend Mary Scott and I always say our body image problems are that we um, think we look better than we do. Mm -hmm. It's true. Oh, 10-foot waves in Rhode Island. Oh, God, the hurricanes are coming. Um 158 now and I don't really have a goal I think I could lose a little bit more I'd love to get into the 140s maybe 144 145 something I don't know but if I got to 150 and seemed stuck that'd be okay too and granted I'm not doing good about exercising exercising is super important to maintain your weight it doesn't typically help people lose weight so you can see Angela if you live in North Carolina. And Angela and I in October are going to get back into our weekly. She does weekly videos for free on different topics uh, related to weight, which is great. 
And we kind of took September off trying to get kids back to school, but we're going to start back with those. And we do, we might do one on intermittent fasting or insulin resistance or um, how to get yourself back after vacation, how to go on vacation. Did you take blood pressure medicine? No, I did not. I couldn't care less or what I eat. I eat when I'm hungry. So Tara, the hormone in my brain tells me that I'm hungry all the time. So see, that's, now I eat when I'm hungry too, but it's the difference of knowing when you're hungry and hunger doesn't come from your stomach. Hunger comes from your brain. Look at that. I'm not a doctor, I just play one on TV. You look slimmer in person than on the videos. Well, I don't know if that's good or not. Right, Mary Scott? Mary Scott's gonna be like, oh my God, I cannot believe she's telling people things like this. I weigh 152. I remember I would have given all my teeth when I weighed 315, but now I'm here and I'm not happy. Really? I don't, I would never give any of my teeth. I'm real into teeth. I started walking each day. Yes, you need to do that. Does she do this only in person? No, she does telehealth. She has a whole business of telehealth. So come join the subscriber group and you can link up with Angela. I wish I thought the weight back when I thought I was really fat. I know, right? I'd love to weigh 165 and a few pounds less right now. Do you continue on the shot after you get your goal weight? So yes, you do. Just like... Um, Trish, if you're taking medicine for blood pressure, you don't just stop the medicine right when your blood pressure gets right, right? You, you continue because that's what you have to do. So I will take this medicine, I assume, for a long time. Now, knowing myself, I, if I got into a really good exercise routine, I would love to try to wean off of it just because I hate taking medicine but I'm also aware that whatever you do with weight needs to be sustainable. And this Dr. Stanford, I did a campaign with MedIQ and she talked about how, like I did Optavia. Some people love Optavia and it works for them. It worked for me, but then when I stopped, I gained that weight plus five more pounds. So every time I'd lose weight, I gained five more pounds. And I can go through my, my social media the last six years and be like, it would be like, oh, you're heavy now, you weigh 171. Well, the last time it was 186. How did you quit smoking? I never smoked. Um, so I drink and drinking Pepsi. So for me, smoking goes along with soft drinks. I love to have a slushy and have a cigarette. So not only Am I smoking? I'm drinking high calorie drinks that make me fat as a pig. So I knew when I started this diet stuff, I had to quit smoking. So Angela, we lowered my Zoloft and I added Wellbutrin to help quit smoking. And um, it was really hard. It's been since maybe March. And I will tell you last night I was at a party and talking to a couple women, and I was like, oh my God, y'all remember 15 years ago, we used to sneak out the back of these parties and smoke. And just talking to them, if you had said, do you want a Marlboro Light? It would have been very hard for me to say no. So I think like a girl's weekend or something where people, like a lot of people can just smoke for a weekend and move on about their business. I cannot. I am seriously an addict. Oh my God, you've got me on your big TV. So anyway, that's how I did it. So I no longer drink soft drinks. Smoking went with driving. Yes. Oh, Trish. Or like, I tell you a big trigger for me in smoking. This is so weird. Hurricanes. That got me the last time I quit, started smoking again. It was a hurricane. There was a hurricane coming. We were getting in storm prep. Pew! To the 7-Eleven. <laughs> a book to quit smoking. That just pisses me off. 
If you like this robe, go over and follow me on Instagram, Tales of an Educated Debutante. Tag three of your friends. I'll put a post up and tell you. There are two robes like this that are going to get mailed out on Monday. I'm committing. Love your hat. Very seasonal. My nanny got this at Walgreens yesterday for my almost nine-year-old. You can answer every question before I type it out. It's because I'm, I'm brilliant. Um, all right. If you have trouble exercising, what did you do with your new little table? What? How did you know I got a new little table? Well, I got one table at the Habitat store, and I decided I didn't like it, so I put it up in my son's room. But I got, this is my home goods furniture room, this little table, that table, and this thing for the TV. I love home goods. What drug did you say? Mine is Saxenda, but I think different drugs for different people. Isn't that good? What you reading about? How deep is the ocean? Cusk eel. What if your Instagram is private? Well, you have to tag people you know. Yeah, I mean, anyway. Smoking made my life better. I take Saxenda, but I'm getting ready to switch over to Wa Wagovi. I think it's W-E-G-O-V-Y. Which home goods do you go to? You know, it depends where I am. I just heard that... Um, there's one down in Nags Head, which is like an hour from me. We live, we have a Roses where I live. So everywhere, the nearest home goods is in New Bern, which is like an hour and 45 minutes away. So I don't get to go that often, but I really like them. Yes, Brenda, same way. I had to stop smoking because I was like, if I end up getting cancer and leaving my husband with these four children, and it's because I smoked, I'd just be mad at myself. He should have his glasses on. Oh, my gosh. And we'll get your little fanny over here and put them on. They're in his backpack. You have to follow to be entered in the drawing. That's right. <laughs> Jan Sully said, I feel like a hagfish. Does Amos read, Patty? Patty, yes. Amos read, 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 reads. Yes, he does read. He reads books all day long. We got rid of his iPad about seven months ago. And I'm going to be on a... Um, a podcast with a psychiatrist on who's very passionate about screens. In fact, she has um, been on the Today Show to talk about it. Her teenagers don't have smartphones. I know, right? Sprinkle my ashes in home goods. Okay, that like might be the best thing I've ever heard. And going so last week on my subscriber page, there she is. I went to. Home Goods and just did a subscriber video of shopping. Basically shopping with a couple hundred of my best friends. And we were, they were helping me pick out things. What do you do on Instagram? It's similar to Facebook. I guess I don't do videos, but I do the same content. But I don't have any followers on Instagram. And it pisses me off. Because my children are like, I mean, you have 35,000 on Instagram? I mean, they act like that's like poo on their shoe. Every time I wanted a cigarette, I went for a mile walk. Well, that's a commitment. What'd you do if you were driving in the car? Or at school? Mm. No, well, that's not happening. I could, like, maybe go on a five-minute walk. Oh, you live in Fort Collins? My cousin's cousin lives in Fort Collins. Honor. Yay, Angela. You know, Instagram, but the thing that it shows me for Instagram is it always shows me people that have, like, babies. Like, the have you seen this mother who's 76? Not 70. 
76. 46 just had identical triplets totally randomly. I bet people would follow me if I had triplets babies sitting on this couch right now. Right? I need to get some dolls. My in-laws have a bunch of clown dolls. I'd have those. That'll be my Instagram page. These are my dolls. Good morning, America. You don't want to follow me. I have 11 grandchildren. Oh, well, that's nice. Clean something when you want it to eat. Well, did your husband ever smoke? No. He, I don't even think he's ever smoked pot. Nothing. No smoke. Now, he does do that snuff or whatever it is. I don't know if it's called snuff. When I renewed my driver's license, I asked, do you think I need to change my weight? Brenda, you asked the driver's license person this? My weight was the same as it was at 1686 pounds. I didn't know our weight was on her. Really? And it's still there? Tales of an educated debutante. Do you have a smoke detector beeping? Um, yes, Trish. Yes, I sure do. That thing started beeping last night, and I made my husband get up and try to get it turned off. And he was like, we can't turn it off without a 9-volt battery. Well, you know, I'm not against that, but a 9-volt battery in the middle of the night? You know what this is about? Wait. Sherry Petito. Wait, was it last night? Sherry Petito? Oh my God. I've got to go watch this. She's the woman, or Papini, not Petito. That's Gabby Petito, poor thing. Sherry Papini. She, um, <clears throat> exercising and cleaning instead of smoking and eating. Sherry Papini is the one that pretended she was kidnapped. And she wasn't. She just went and hung out with her, her old boyfriend for two or three weeks. And then she had him shoot hockey pucks at her so she'd have bruises. Ah! Darn cat just grabbed me. I mean, ain't nobody shooting any hockey pucks at me. I can tell you that. You can take the battery out. Really? Well, that's too smart. Get Big T to quit that crap. Do I look like I rule a husband? That beeping sound, I mean, you don't would never need to beat anyone in an interrogation room. All you have to do is put in that beeping sound and people will give it up. You can leave your weight at whatever you want, I asked. Really? I'm going to change my weight to like, I mean never even looked at my weight. All right, subscribers, see you at 11 a.m. with my husband. Why didn't the boyfriend get charged? Probably because he agreed to rat her out. Go follow me on Instagram. Tag a couple people. I'll put a post up. Though it doesn't really help to put a post up. I have to put it on Facebook because on Instagram... No one sees it. Um, and that's it. How do I tag someone on Instagram? Well, I'm not sh I'm not sure. <laughs> go maybe go on my go on a post and tag somebody. <laughs> and then I'm gonna put my 13 year old on it to try to figure out who his if you say you've followed me on Instagram on this video. So you watch this video and say, I followed you on Instagram. Make sure you comment here. This is how I'll get my names. This is your chance. Carry on people. Tell how y'all met when you got married on supporter group. Oh, well, that's a good idea. Our first date was, um, let's see, I was 23, I'm 40. Am I 47? I'm 47. 24 years ago at the Chowan County Fair, which starts this week. 
Yes, sir, Bobby. Mm -hmm. Yep. Show on fur. Show on fur. And if you're a subscriber and you follow me on Instagram, I'll put your name in twice. So there you go. Keep up the good chats. Well, come over and listen to my reluctant husband. This is, he, you know, likes to talk to me about his trials. He's a lawyer. And I'm like, well, you know what I need you to do? I need you to come and talk to my subscribers. Well, what are we going to talk about? I'm like, we're going to do a Q&A. It's not that hard. And when I had 150 subscribers come for the weekend, he had a great time. It was so fun. In fact, he wants to go on the subscriber cruise, but he doesn't want to admit it. Because my daughter told him, Mom already asked a friend. He was like, well, I couldn't go anyway. But when are y'all going? My name of my Instagram is the same as my Facebook, Tales of an Educated Debutante. 46th anniversary. Happy anniversary, Joanne. My 20th anniversary is on a week from Wednesday. Who is Ree Bobby? I don't know who Ree Bobby is. Carry on, people. Subscribers, see you at 11.